Hey guys, I've had a few YouTube comments regarding the program Slicer and the configuration that I use with this piece of software. So this video will be dedicated to Slicer and how I configure it before I start printing. If you haven't heard of Slicer before, uh, Slicer is a free piece of software. It can be downloaded from slicer.org. Uh, the E is just replaced with the number three. Uh, this program converts your 3D model, so for example an STL file that you'll download from a website such as Thingiverse or you'll export from a CAD program. It'll convert that uh, 3D model into a G-code file and the G-code file is something that your 3D printer can understand and print from. Uh, Slicer is used not only to convert from STL to G-code but can also be customized to suit your printer and that's the main reason to use it. So before we jump into, into configuring Slicer, uh, simply go to the Slicer website to download this, click the download button, uh, choose the operating system that you're using, I'm using Windows so I'll click on Windows and then we're greeted with just a basic um, options to download so we have stable and experimental releases of the software I generally stick with stable uh, so I can have a I guess a, a constant experience out of this with with minimal bugs I guess you could say uh, I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows so I'll download the x64 stable for my PC if you're if you're using a 32-bit um, version of Windows choose the x86 version okay well I already have this installed so let's jump straight into it and here we are, this is Slicer version 1.1.7, the stable release. Upon uh, first launching this software, I recommend going into the preferences and changing a couple of the default settings and also performing the configuration wizard. The configuration wizard will uh, adjust the slicer configuration uh, based on our printer setup. So let's go ahead and run that configuration wizard now. Um, up the very top left hand side, click on help and configuration wizard. At the welcome screen, choose next. Uh, the first question it's asking us is the firmware types. This is the firmware that is loaded within uh, the printer itself. So uh, in the Arduino board uh, we have, or I have, uh, Marlin installed being a RepRap uh, Prusa i3 so I'll leave the default. If your printer is a different type choose the option that is pertinent to your printer. Uh, the next question it's asking us is the bed size. Yes, I have a bed of 200 by 200 millimeters, so I'll leave the defaults and click next. The next question it's asking is the hot end nozzle diameter. Well, the E3D version 6 comes with a 0.4 millimeter diameter as standard, so I'll change that and hit next. Uh, now it's asking us for the, uh, the plastic filament diameter. So I used to be three, three millimeters, not anymore. I'm now 1.75. Change that and choose next. It's now asking us for the uh, the hot end extrusion temperature of the plastic, and this will be uh, this temperature will be for your plastic that you're currently using. So PLA or ABS. I currently have ABS loaded, so I'll choose the temperature that suits my plastic, and that is 230 degrees C. Select next. Uh, the next question it's asking us is the bed temperature. So the print bed when it prints. So once again I'm using uh, ABS plastic and uh, my ABS seems to adhere to the print bed at 100 degrees no problem. So I'll set it to 100. Click next and congratulations we are finished. Uh, the last thing that we need to change before we get stuck into this is go into file and preferences and I recommend changing the mode from simple to expert that'll unlock some extra configuration options which I actually do modify uh, and I also um, have auto center parts uh, selected that's uh, very useful for me so go ahead and click OK it'll say you must restart slicer to make these changes take effect that's fine go ahead and restart your slicer program and let's get stuck into it Okay, first up, let's begin by loading our STL 3D model. So let's click Add. Uh, I'll load the Peon 230 ARM STL file, so I'll choose that and click Open. 
and straight away uh, Slicer displays an outline of this object onto this uh, grid on the left hand side here. Uh, this grid is your um, uh, your print bed looking from the top directly down. Um, it's going to place the object in the dead center. Uh, if we're not happy with the orientation that this is placed, we can uh, choose one of these um, rotation buttons to, to rotate the object around. We can also um, rotate the object by entering a specific angle if we wish. Um, we also have options here to scale the object, so by default it, everything scales at 100%, but if it's too small we can crank it up, so for example 150%, nice and big. Um, if it was too big we can bring it down, so let's say 50%, now it's teeny weeny. Um, but you know what, we want to, oops, wrong button, now we want to put it back to 100% because that is the, um, the size that I wish to print this object. Uh, if I wish to print more than one of this object, so multiple copies, uh, I can just highlight the object, make sure it's highlighted, and hit the little plus button here, and that'll magically add a carbon copy and self-center um, the objects around as well. For one, a third one, third one, fourth one, fourth one, and so on. Um, in this instance, for this um, uh, example, uh, one is enough for me. Okay, so they're the main buttons uh, up here. If we wanted to delete this, we can just hit delete. We can also add other objects. So let's see, I can add uh, the arm support. Let's open that up. And here we go. So I've got two uh, unique objects that will be printed at the same time. Um, we can uh, rotate these around. Okay, yeah, so we can drag and drop these around. Let's do this. And it recenters again based on where we've dragged the object. So this is quite um, quite a useful tool. I do this quite often. If I'm printing um, multiple items, I, I definitely uh, drag these around to suit my needs. Uh, but let's just go ahead there and remove this. I don't want this, so I've got this highlighted, and I'll just hit delete, and it removes that, and I'm back to this one uh, object. Okay, uh, next up we have the print settings tab.